back out in the garage again today. Gotta get my compost sifter project finished up. So I've got this 55 gallon barrel here. You can see where I've got uh, spots marked cut out. I'm gonna insert some hardware cloth inside of it once I get it cut out. Here on the bottom of the barrel, I've made some marks where I'm gonna put these eye bolts and attach these buckles so that I can finally get attached to my old cement mixer. And I've already pre-marked, I've just used the existing screw locations here uh, where I'm gonna attach another set of eye bolts so that the barrel will be removable. So uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to get these eye bolts opened up and I'm gonna attach these permanently and I may weld the joint shut just so they can't open back up. Um, but let me get over the vise and I'll get that done. And... All right, because some folks may not have had to open these up before. And this is the reason why I may weld them is they actually open up pretty easy. All I have to do is clamp it down the vise here. And uh, I have a little wedge in the opening there. Once you get started, you can just easily pry it on open. Put a hook in. So now we're together. And then we just squeeze it back to shut in the vise. And this is going a lot easier than I thought it would. So. I'm going to take this and when I'm done putting these all together, I'm going to put a small weld here and here just to keep them from opening back up. All right, I got those all welded up. Now it's time to drill the holes in the bottom of the drum. Uh, these should never come apart again. Um, it was just really easy to do them in the, in the vise, separating them, putting them together. So. Just did a quick little tack weld on one side. It, it doesn't have to be anything special. Now I've got my quarter inch drill bit, which will match these holes I've marked out here. So I'll go ahead and get those drilled. And uh, we'll get those eye bolts in place. We got all the holes drilled on the barrel and I went ahead and center punched and drilled my matching holes right here on the cement mixer so you can tell they all line up with the existing six holes here I did them further up here towards the uh, the edge here so that I would have more clearance when it come time to tighten up the turn buckles when attaching the barrel now it's time to put in the hardware um, all right I got all the eye bolts mounted on my cement mixer um, I did have an issue with one popping off right there uh, when I was tightening it down so it didn't get to have the nut on the top it only has the washer now Turns out this is a problem. I'll go ahead and weld these right to the cement mixer and along with welding the seam just like I did on the other eye bolts. Uh, but now it is time to make our cutouts here so that we can be able to reach in to get the nuts tightened down on these. Uh, now to make this a little bit sturdier, I actually got some fender washers, which should help uh, support these bolts and keep from bending this drum up too bad while it's rotating. Alrighty, we got the holes all cut out. I took my grinder with a flapper disc and smoothed up the edges a little bit since I'm gonna have to reach through there to get the bolts and nuts for those little eye bolts we made. So I'm gonna get them installed and come back and get started on putting in the quarter inch hardware cloth and mounting it to the cement mixer. 
got the turnbuckles mounted. Uh, before going to put in the hardware cloth there, I think I want to attempt to mount this to the cement mixer. In order to do that, I first need to take and mount these support wheels to this board and then mount it to the three-legged sawhorse I made to support the end of the barrel. So I'll get that done and come right back and we'll get it mounted up and measure out the hardware cloth. Got it cut and mounted. All the turnbuckles tightened down. Got the hardware cloth cut to size. Now all I got to do is wire it up together with a uh, with some of this utility wire. I take and loop it through over these bars here and just pull that cloth up tight in just a few places in the front and back. I'm probably just going to leave this excess on here for now. It'll help uh, as it's tumbling to get the larger stuff to come a little bit further out past the uh, sawhorse legs here. So let me get that wired up and then uh, we'll come on back for a test run. All right, it's a working. Got the hardware cloth in. And it's a tumbling away. Ended up having to use zip ties instead of the utility wire because the utility wire kept breaking. Dry day, we'll try it out with some compost.